Well, greetings, friends. John here, Somerset, Kentucky. Uh, today we're going to look at a Czechoslovakian BPDI4 breakfast ration. It's a lightweight ration. I'll tell you what's in it here in a second, and then you can see what's in it. It says list of components. 120 grams of pate, which translates to liver pate, two packs of crisp bread, one pack of biscuit light, I'll show you what that is a little bit later, it's made with yogurt, uh, 25 gram of chocolate bar, instant fruit drink, 40 grams, coffee, 2.4 grams, I've got it set to the side, I'm going to do the tea this morning instead of the coffee, my stomach's not up for coffee yet. Might try it later on today. 1.75 gram tea, two packs of sugar, spoon, multi-purpose paper. That's easy for you to say. Multi-purpose paper, paper towel, wet napkin, and toothpick. And this is more or less what we got here. Like I said, the other. Sorry about reaching across the screen now. Uh, uh, the pack of crackers, and you can see the corner of the coffee there. I just ain't hardly in the mood for it right now. Well, let's go ahead. I'll make a mess for its food. So go ahead and get a napkin out. Wet nap. Regular nap. Wooden spoon. I won't be using it, but that's pretty neat. I guess that's one of them biodegradable ones that everybody's talking about these days. Toothpick. Let's see, we've got our. There we are. Get the glare off of it. Jatrova, or Jatrova means chicken liver. So we got a chicken liver pate. And today, to help matters out if I do need it, brought shockers. Replica U.S. Army knife I've had for several years now. Been a while since I showed it. I'll try to get back in rotation showing some of the collection. And let's see here. Just go ahead and open our pate first. Looks good. Not a lot of fat or anything around it. Doesn't smell too strong. We'll see what it tastes like here in a few minutes. Most pâtés I can eat, but every so often you'll get one that's just got too much for a mineral taste to it. Too much of a livery taste. So, I've got that open. Open the crisp ribs. Made with Lentil flour, pea flour, pea starch, chickpea flour, and sea salt. Like I said, there's two packs of 35 grams of these. I'm just going to need one today. Set that right there for now. It's still on screen. And this is our... White biscuit, yogurt glazed, vegetable palm kernel oil, most of fire, citric acid, aroma, salt. Well, those have got a different look, different look to them. Yogurt coated. That's cool. 
Um, instant fruit drink. And this whole thing says we'll make a liter. Needless to say, I'm not going to drink a liter right now. And I'm not going to mix a whole liter up. So we'll just get some gas at it. Pull Oh, that's got a heck of a smell to it. Use about half of that pack. Stir that up, let it sit a little bit. Yeah, beyond the sugar, it's going to take a while for it to sit and mix up. Because that sugar is not wanting to mix. So we'll just set it to the side for a few minutes. Come back to it. Find a place where it's not going to fall over. Oh, bump the camera. Got our chocolate bar. Slight blooming on it, not much at all. And I think we're going to use our tea. I know usually I'll use one of my other mugs, but today I'm just curious, try to look and see just how dark this is going to be. It's Earl Grey style of tea. Got, got everything open besides the sugar to go in the tea. Two packs of sugar, one for the coffee and one for the tea. Again, this morning I'm just not in the mood for coffee. Afraid it'll tear my stomach up starting out. Still pretty early here. Get woke up and I might try it. Uh, get my on MRE. Tactical Sport. We'll let that and set just a little while too. While we're doing that, go back. Or drink it. Okay. Still a little bit of sugar, but it's a whole lot better than it was. Look well, at that smells. I'm curious about the taste. Definitely fruit. I just can't tell what kind. A little bit like orange, a little bit like pineapple. Maybe mixed citrus or some kind like that. Either way, highly drinkable. Turn my tea off camera again. See if it'll get just a little bit darker. And out of curiosity, just go ahead and, oh, as always, my bodyguard's looking on a little bald headed pig to bring me good luck. He hides in the corner sometimes, but he's usually around me. Let's try just a bite of the pate by itself. Not overpowering at all. Got a good taste.
Not too strong at all. Now that's a little more than I wanted, but it'll work. Pate and crisp bread. Crisp bread's got just a mild taste to it by itself, but it and the pate together go together real good. That's one in combination, y'all. And I just about made the dogs happy there by dropping that on the floor, but it was a safe. Another bite of this. These crackers are good and fresh. Plenty of crunch left to them. That's about as dark as the tea got. I guess this will be a mild tea. Very mild tea. You know that I use too much water, but that's about what I usually put to a tea bag. Let me warm my bag of this little. Yep, that didn't work out too good. That worked out a little better. Sit down with my fruit drink. Before it's through, I'm gonna drop this spork in the floor. I know I am. Cause that's too close calls. Okay. White biscuits or white crisps. You can see the yogurt coating on them. Let's see what that tastes like. Mild, very, very mild sweetness from the yogurt. I'm almost getting a little undertone of, try that again. Well, it don't say it, but I swear I'm getting almost just a real light hit of cinnamon on that. So just kind of like an undertaste, underlying taste. Just a hint. Oh, here. Try some of our chocolate. Chocolate's not bitter, got a good taste. A very, very little bloom at all on it. Good fresh meal. 
Just can't fuss about it, y'all. And after using the wooden spoon, mixing my tea and my cold drink up, bring it out to lick it off and clean it off in between mixing the tube. Remember those little cups of ice cream that had the wooden spoon in it? You could taste the spoon more than you could the ice cream. That's the same way, y'all. Interesting, but... You can definitely taste the wood in it. I'll just stay with Art and Nina's little tactical fork there. So. Spark, excuse me. One more bite of the white crisps. And eventually, one of the regular crisp breads. Again, that pate is not strong. It's not over liver, livery, non-metallic. It's got a good taste, it's good and easy to spread too. So. Another drink to wash that down. Another drink of my tea. I'll clean up here in a few minutes using the napkin and the wet nap. But right now, I'm going to sign off here and finish my eating. I don't think you want to sit there. You didn't see what's in it, so I don't think you want to sit there and watch me eat the rest of it. So. Just going to tell you, peace and prayers, Somerset, Kentucky. Uh, sorry, I'm not posting as much as what I usually do. I, life's kindly gave me the runaround this last year or so. I'm doing the best I can. I'll post when I can, but it's not going to be on a regular basis. I never was too regular, but it's going to be a whole lot less now. So if I can put one out every so often, just kindly enjoy it and hit that thumbs up there on the algorithm on the YouTube page and might help me out just a little bit and drop any comments, good, bad, or indifferent. Save the rest of my drink for after a while. Gonna eat these now. Uh, you got somebody in your family or some of your Facebook friends you ain't seen in a while, holler out to them, check on them. Sometimes just somebody checking in on you makes you feel awful good. So, peace, prayers, John, Somerset, Kentucky. Y'all take care. I hope you enjoyed this. This was the BPDI-4 Czechoslovakian breakfast. Y'all have a good weekend.